I'd like to talk about something that's been on my mind for a really long time. So as far as I'm concerned, there are only two, two things that matter on your website. The first one is the product page. It's not your homepage, it's not a category page, it's not your site design, it's not your mobile experience, it is your product page. Your product page for a, for a user who is looking for a very specific product, which is basically everyone, no one is coming to your website saying, hey, let me look at 50 different products. They have a very specific product in mind or a very specific product category in mind. So when they come to your website, they are gravitating towards a very specific product page. For this user, your entire website is just that product page. Your product page is where we are doing our salesmanship, where we are talking to the buyer, giving them the full story and converting them. If we can't convert them on the product page, they're not gonna buy from us, end of story. So that's point number one, which brings me to point number two, which is I find it very curious, having studied over 5,000 e-commerce websites over the last 13 years, or 5,000 e-commerce product pages over the last 13 years, that the every, every retailer creates a product page. And that product page is static, which means that no matter who you are, what your context is, where you're coming from, what time of day it is, if you come to that product page, you will be told the exact same story. So if you come on a weekday, if you come on a weekend, if you come early in the morning, late at night, if you are coming through a paid search ad, if you are coming from the homepage, if you are coming from an affiliate website, so imagine if there's an affiliate website that has written this glowing article about how the smoker or the grill that you are selling, it has these seven features, they're the best seven features in the world. If I come with that context to your product page, all of that is being raised and I'm all those users, all those different paths are being shown the exact same story on the product page. Think about if this makes sense because you'll quickly realize that actually we should have 50 different versions of a product page because I want to give an analogy from sales, right? So if you have a prospect that comes to you and that prospect has come to you because a recommendation made by your absolute best customer, would you tell them a different story versus a prospect that comes to you by filling up a contact form on your website? Clearly you will because these people have different expectations. There's a different level of difficulty in salesmanship to convert them. You would personalize your, your conversion strategy based on the context of the person. Why doesn't that then apply to our product pages? And if, if you have an example of a product page that actually does kind of change the content and the copy and the story based on context, Please share it with me. I'm dying to see my first example.